Good morning everybody, welcome back to the Firefly Studio. Today I've got a new journal to share with you um, that I've just completed. I've been working on this one for a little while um, in between other projects that I've got going on. And I just thought I would come on and give you guys a quick flip through. Uh, this will be available for um, sale in my shop, which I've got a, a link to my shop in the description box below so if you're interested you can follow that and check it out. So this is a five and a half by a nine inch journal. It's got about a one inch spine um, so, so it's pretty chunky but I haven't uh, overfilled it and it's been created with just a collage of papers, um, just a mix. I would recently taken all of my scraps and, and just sat down one day and just um, did some Franken pages and then on top of that then I just combined it with lots of um, different doilies and bits of uh, fabric and laces from my scrap pile so you can see what this looks like and then I've got this strip down the uh, spine so it's just I really like how this has come out. I think I'm going to do a couple of more in this style because I just love the look of it. So as you can see, it's it's a nature themed. Um, I've got some extra bits here with the beading on it. I'll just give you a close up of that so you can see how that cover has come out. A lot of stitching. And uh, like I said, it was a lot of fun to work with this. It's been a while since I've done a journal, as you guys know. Um, I've been spending some time organizing, finishing up um, leftover product uh, project, and, and then also um, I've recently done some de-stash, which, by the way, if you're interested in those, check out my shop. I've still got a couple of de-stashes left. So here's the cover. Um, again, this is a big old uh, vintage doily that I've done inside so I just I love it I love how this has come out got a little pocket here and I've just made some extra little notepads that I've tucked in here this is just a little journaling card and then another tag this is an old vintage playing card and then this is another little scrappy notepad there. So there's quite a lot of um, writing space. This has got 96 pages front and back, but you'll see there's a lot of extra bits in here to go along with that. And then here I've got a window pocket and this tag tucks in there. I've got a little cluster there with old laces, old vintage uh, nature book pages in here, another fabric um, lace and paper collage there that I've created into a tuck spot. <coughs> Excuse me, this is a journal card that's been backed with some tea dye paper. So as you can see I've got a mix of um, tea dye papers and then I've also got these pages that are just on white. I personally like the contrast of the white with the aged. I just think it gives it a lot more um, interest beautiful pages here. I've done stenciling. I've stitched throughout and this is some of the um, uh, I think the, I can't remember what this paper was called. I purchased this sometime back so I, I can't remember. It's not handmade paper but it's um, it's just nice to have you know different paper types within the journal. Here's just a little handmade um, journal card that has been collaged and then this is a vintage uh, I don't know they're not cigarette cards but it's kind of similar to the tea cards and I've just pinned these and then here's a little um, like a mini Rolodex and that's just been clipped in here with one of the tiny Tim Holtz paper clips. Love that image. Here I've got another one of the little um, mini Rolodex cards. 
done some lace here. This is some of the um, papers I recently purchased from Hina here in the UK. She does beautiful, beautiful um, coffee dyed papers. Um, so I'm just slowly getting through those. Absolutely beautiful papers. More stenciling here, another old book page. So as you can see, there's a lot of writing space. Um, this is an Edith Holden book page, of course. And I've tried to keep the colors all coordinating throughout. And this is one of the little window postcards. I recently um, did a tutorial for that. So you can check in the playlist. I've got a section for um, tutorials or craft with me that you can find out how to do those. Another little page adornment here with old um, lace papers. One second, guys. Let me grab a... I just need a, a sip of coffee. And then here I've just done a little pocket and then just added another little handmade journal card that I've stamped. Just some st um, stamping in it here and there. Now this is handmade paper, so I wanted to include that in case you wanted to do a little bit of mixed media. And then another handmade tag with a charm and some seam binding. And those have all been backed with tea dyed paper. And then this is a book page pocket that I've made. And then a little dimensional butterfly here. And it's got some uh, cheesecloth behind that. Again, another old, um, this is kind of a herb book page. I love that book. Um, and then here is one of the, this is like a placemat, I mean, a bookmark with a little pocket. I've done a tutorial on these as well, and I've just tucked that under there. So that can be moved throughout, and again, you've got a little tuck spot here. Just old, old uh, pages that I've recently acquired um, during a clean out. Um, more stamping, stitching, um, more stamping here, and then this is some more of the uh, handmade paper as well. Just put a couple little butterflies in the center of the signature. <coughs> So there's still a lot of room if you wanted to add more pockets, but I didn't want to over embellish it again because I want to leave enough room for the recipient to add their own things. I just love these papers. And another handmade tag that I backed with tea dyed paper. And this is a book page pocket. I recently did a um, tutorial on these book page pocket and tags. Again, another handmade journal card that's an altered uh, book page that's been backed. Another little journal card. And then here, this is just a huge uh, old um, postcard with the birds on it. And then another um, old playing card there, just tucked in. This is um, one of the tags I made from Tracy and... Artie Mae's kits, and I just included that, and then this, I recently did a tutorial on how to do these little pockets from book pages as well. It's got the little glass bead there. Sorry about my nails, guys. I just did them last night, of course, playing around with the um, fabric tack. It just takes all of your, your nail varnish off, so... That was pretty pointless. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot to say I put an old uh, doily inside here as well. So, just love those papers. And another little handmade tag. And then here, another little tag tucked into this pocket. And then I've just done some collaging with bits of scrap paper. I mean, trims and laces. And another tuck spot here so you can add more items. 
And then on the back here is another pocket that I've included one of the Royal Horticulture uh, postcards and then another of the tags. So there it is. This is the back of the journal again. And as I said, this is going to be for sale in my shop. Um, so if you're interested, you can have a look. And again, I've got a couple of other de-stashes in there for sale. So if you're interested in seeing what I've got there, you can check out the videos um, on my channel. And also check out my um, shop. So you guys stay safe. I'll be back soon. Bye.